Wow guys, today might be the day. It's uh, one o'clock right now. Our battery's at 62%. Um, we got the Air Force T pumps on today um, because it's around 51 degrees out, so we had to get the chill out of the house a little bit. So right now the house is pulling 2.5 kilowatt hours and the battery's at roughly 62%. And it's only one in the afternoon. Right now we're at 23 days running only off power walls and sun power panels and I hope it's not the end of the road. I really hope not, but it's one o'clock now. That means the solar um, is only producing like under a KW right now and we're pulling 2.5 to the house, so I'll keep you updated. Hey guys, what's up? It's Anthony Sicari talking all things sun power panels and Tesla power walls. Um, right now we are on day 23 of running fully reliant on just our storage and our solar panels. But today we ran into a little bit of a buzzsaw. It was like no sun today. Today was rainy, like a overcast day, really not a lot of production at all on our system. Our batteries are at 47% right now and it's 8.38 at night and I'm hoping we get through the night. We were at 60% and it was like, like I think it was like four in the afternoon. So uh, definitely hoping we get through tonight. This is the closest call we've gotten so far um, besides the first night that we turned the system on. So I really wanna make it to one month uh, with just being powered off the power walls and the sun power panel. So, all right, let's check out our power flow. So right now we'll go into what the system, just today, we'll look at today. So our solar production, so minimal today. I mean, today we produced four kilowatts um, from the panels. Uh, so we'll see here our high today was 1.1 kilowatts and this is on 36 solar panels each of them 360 watts so that's how overcast of a day i'm i'm surprised we even got that out of them um and our panel so the panels woke up at 740 um our high was at I was at nine o'clock, around 8.55, 8.50, and the panels went to bed at uh, 5.35 tonight. Our power wall, you could see it, look at that thing. There was really, we only sent power back to the batteries at 8.25 in the morning until 9.15. So from 8.25 to 9.15, that's the only solar that we sent back to the batteries. Other than that, we were running the entire home off the batteries all day long. And also just that extra solar that we produced, the home was using and wasn't sending to the batteries. So we're just trying to be as reliant as possible on what the solar was producing, as well as the batteries. Um, Right now, uh, we are at 46% um, on our storage. So right now, uh, we'll just do some quick math here. So since we have three solar panels, uh, three power walls, so we do three power walls times 13.5 kilowatt hours is stored in each power wall. That equals 40.5 kilowatt hours of storage. And then if we times that by 46%, so we have 18.6 kilowatt hours to get us through the rest of the night. And right now our power flow, we're using, you can see how it's off a little bit, but right now when it shows 1.3, this is good just so you can see like a little glitch that happens on the app, showing the home is using 0.1 and the battery is pulling 1.3. Right now, I know that the home is using 1.3. It's pulling 1.3 kilowatt hours from the battery right now, 
but this is just a little glitch on the app and sometimes this happens and you just gotta be aware of it. But after looking at the app for so long, I know that this is 1.3 and this is a rare glitch. It maybe happens, uh, you know, every so often. And when it does, I know that the home is using 1.3 kilowatt hours right now. So I have, uh, you know, 18 kilowatt hours roughly of storage left to get me through the night. So I am going to uh, shut it down right now and I'll report back to you guys tomorrow and fingers crossed we make it through the night. All right, signing out, day 23, fully running off the power walls, sun power panels, off-grid lifestyle in a modern home right now. So we'll keep you guys updated. We'll see you later. <laughs>